What up everybody? Me K Dubious back again to show the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger collection and uh how it stands now in my collection. Pretty much uh lucked out and scored this three foot tall black ranger and uh once I was able to add that to my collection I had to, to figure out a way to display it. So ended up going with this custom display cabinet. I got LEDs going up the sides and a few more added to light it all up. Um, this door here is actually on a hinge that swings open and there's a uh, plexi on every shelf but it's kind of hard to see in the video but I had it because I wanted it to be completely enclosed and uh, I wanted it to be well lit up so I'm really happy with the way it turned out and uh, we'll walk through it but I also want to show off on top of here still you know sticking with my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger collection because this display plus the top shelf here was able to house everything that I have and uh, everything I have was Pretty much right here so mini gunpla super mini pla i think it's called uh, megazord just recently came out and this here is the power dome from way back in the day plus all the new legacy uh figures on it with the build a figure megazord in the back this sword is actually from a older six inch line that bandai made came with the uh, red ranger a friend of mine hooked it up so he's able to have a weapon but I just think that Power Dome is a really cool place that if you find it for cheap, it's worth picking up. And then the, the Mega Blocks blind bag and plus some other stuff figures from the, the newer stuff. And then the entire top shelf here is loyal subjects. And uh, these actually are mainly blind box plus all this Comic-Con stuff is still in the package back there in the back. But uh, blind box stuff is pretty cool to me. And uh, they really did a good job on these original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, I got the original wave as it came out back in the, uh, the original, you know, when Little Subjects got the license. And then these are the Stealth Rangers from Hot Topic. And then this is the somewhat hard to find pastel uh, Rangers from Target. So behind that is the metallic and crystal stuff from, like I said, Comic Con a few years ago. But really cool Mighty Morphin stuff that they've released. And then here in the front is actually um, the metallic Zords that just recently came out. But all original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger stuff from Loyal Subjects plus the uh, the blaster up there too. So that's the top shelf, and then the middle shelf is devoted to my Zack collection. And uh, Zack was my favorite Ranger growing up. Uh, I think you've seen that in some of the other videos. You've seen a lot of these pieces, but I have added some more uh, cool stuff, and just really was happy with the way I was able to display it all, like housed around this like three foot tall giant Zack that I was able to find. I opened up the Legacy Morpher so he can be wearing it. Looks a little more official. And then uh, from left to right, it's some of the older stuff. You know, the back is some of the newer stuff, but left to right, the open figures are stuff that existed when I was a kid. I just didn't have much of any Power Ranger stuff. And then the right side is somewhat newer stuff that's came out. But just a ton of cool Zack and original Black Ranger stuff. This right here is a somewhat odd thing that came with a slot car track and you know I was able to add that to my collection. I thought that was cool. And then the bottom here is my uh, pint size heroes. They're a little out of place because uh, the bottom shelf is actually all movie stuff except for the pint size heroes. But I think it's really cool the way that I was able to get all of them in there and they kind of have a really cool spot in the collection that way. I got an open Black Ranger that came with the Then and Now pack, so that's the weapon. I actually have my Legacy figure holding as the Then and Now axe. It's a little small, but it works. And then Power Rangers, uh, Little Subjects minifigures inside that classic Micro Morpher playset from back in the day for, of course, the Black Ranger. And then you see the Toys R Us um, figures where I kind of bookend and everything, and they make up the back shelf too. They're a little crammed in there, but uh, it's all of the movie figures that just came out with the the movie at Toys R Us exclusive line and then here in front again more loyal subject stuff this is from the movie line these are all relatively new to different retailer exclusive stuff and then they're actually on top of their rendition of the new 2017 movie this is an Amazon exclusive really cool shit stuff guys I mean it's you know pretty reasonable price to get the entire uh, set of them plus the movie but the bottom shelf is somewhat movie ranger stuff and all my zacks you can see in the very back i got you can see the logo back there but i got the first ranger or the first movie black ranger back there too that's adam so of course he can't go on the zack shelf so but 
I hope you all like my collection and the way I'm displaying it. And uh, look for more videos from me. Like and subscribe. I actually plan on putting out a video at least once a week going forward. And uh, hopefully it will be even more frequently than that. So see you again soon.